Hello everyone and welcome to the Epic Flight Academy. This is our G1000 series and this is Ray Altman who will be our flight instructor. I'm your host Mike Thompson and I'm going to role play the flight student. Today our topic is the pre-flight operational check. We're about to hop into Epic's full motion FTD and see how to conduct the check for a current navigation database, GPS status, RAIM availability, WAS status, and LRU status. Ray and I are going to walk you through it exactly as you would perform it in the actual airplane. Okay, let's go. Welcome to the inside of the Cessna 172. Now, at this point, we have completed the before starting engine checklist and the starting engine checklist, and we are now getting into the before taxi checklist. And Ray is gonna walk us through in detail what it means to check for a current database, our GPS status, our RAM availability, our WAS status, and our LRU status. So Ray, can you show us how to do that? Absolutely. So once we've turned our avionics switches on, we will then be viewing the PIA, or the MFD's uh, splash screen or start screen. And the first thing we look for is, are our databases up to date? Hey, you know what? As I look at that splash screen, I notice um, several of them are yellow and out of date. Yeah, so we're in a simulator. Uh, the simulator never leaves the ground and it's not required to be updated, whereas our aircraft, they will always be updated. And if not, you need um, to make sure you get them updated before leaving the ground. So when we go flying in the actual airplane, those will all be up to date. Absolutely. Okay. Yep. So once we've confirmed the databases are current, we then either hit the enter hard key or any of the soft keys, the rightmost soft key to get started. Hey, wait a minute. Hard key, soft key. I'm wondering what the difference is. And I'm guessing when I press the hard key, it feels really hard. And when I press the soft key, you know, it feels kind of soft. Is that it? You know, it's not. It is actually hard keys are assigned a specific task and they will always have that task. And a soft key will change throughout flight. So it will use multiple tasks using the same button. Oh, soft keys are programmable. Yes. Uh, hard keys are not. Exactly. Oh. So we will hit the <clears throat> enter hard key. And that'll bring us into the first page of our MFD. So from there, we will go to the lower right corner. We will find the FMS knob and we will twist the outer or larger ring clockwise or to the right until we get to our auxiliary page. FMS, FMS, that must be the flying mic switch. <laughs> no, nope. no, no, that's not it. Flight management system. Flight management system, okay. Perfect. So the first page on the auxiliary page, you'll see just basic information about the aircraft <coughs> and uh, its endurance and things like that. We will now use the smaller knob and twist it to the right or clockwise until we get to the GPS status page. Ah, uh, here's where we check GPS status. Yep, so now we have our soft keys at the bottom that we can toggle between to see GPS one, making sure we have enough sufficient working satellites and GPS two, same thing, making sure we have enough sufficient working satellites. From there, we'll move up to the middle right side of the screen and we'll test our RAIM. To do so, we push the FMS knob in and it will give us a cursor over the RAIM section. The large knob on the FMS twists to the right and it'll bring us down to our time. Generally speaking, we wanna go at least the duration of our entire flight. I like to go a few hours past just to ensure we will have integrity in our satellites. Once we have done that, we hit the enter hard key, enter hard key, and then enter hard key one more time. And now we'll see we have RAIM available. That's the RAIM check. So we've checked the GPS, we've checked the, the uh, actually we've checked the database uh, uh, um, currency the GPS and the RAIM. So when you say RAIM, I, it sounds like RAIM. Is that, that's not a RAIM check. What is 
R A I M. Yeah, great question. RAIM stands for Receiver Autonomous Integrity Monitoring. And what this basically is, is making sure that the GPS satellites we are receiving are giving us accurate, reliable signal. Okay. And now for the WASP check. Yep. So WASP, we go back down to the soft keys on the bottom of the MFD and we'll click on the S Bass button. And then we will see we have a couple different ones, but in the United States, we're worried about WAS. WAS stands for Wide Area Augmentation System. This makes our GPS more accurate. So it is currently activated, so we are good there. We will then push the FMS knob in to remove the cursor, and we're ready to now move on and check our LRU status. LRU. So that is line replaceable units. Aha, okay. So, so think of like a computer. When you build a computer, you put in a hard drive, a video card, those types of things, and they're kind of plug and play or removable. It's the same concept here. Each one of our systems has its own line replaceable unit that can be removed, updated, or replaced, and then put back in. So using the large FMS knob again, going to the right, oops, sorry, small FMS knob going to the right, Two more turns, you will then get to the system status page. And here we'll see a bunch of green check marks. These green check marks represent a properly working line replaceable unit. To see all of them, we must push the knob in and then twist down and go all the way to the bottom and ensure we do have all green check marks. So in this case, they're all working. Yeah, let me guess. If one of them wasn't working, probably a red X. Yeah, I'll demonstrate that. So I'm going to disable our autopilot. And now you'll see we get red X's. Aha. And that would be a sign that that is currently a line replaceable unit that isn't working. Um, it is up to the discretion of the <coughs> pilot if this is a required line replaceable unit for a normal flight. Or in this case, like in autopilot, if we don't need it, we would just make sure that it's placard and disabled. Well, folks, we certainly hope that you found this video informative. Today, we have just walked through how to check for a current NAV database, GPS status, RAM availability, WAS status, and LRU status. Join us next time.